what's up guys uh thank you very much for for coming back to electrica now uh, maybe you would want to have a manual changeover switch but constructed with contactors okay uh it's really possible uh maybe you already have those contactors but uh, you don't have all the other things that it takes to make it automatic change of a switch so we can use these two contactors now put in consideration that you're gonna have the auxiliary contact and then you're gonna have the mechanical contact just for protection okay so whichever way you switch it you don't mess your your installation up okay so we already have our these two contactors already and uh, they are already been interlocked make both mechanically uh, now we're just going to do the electrical interlock okay okay now we have these two breakers here which are uh, mimicking the two powers so you have your utility power here and then you have your generator which is not automatic you're just going to start it when the power is gone okay so this can be really portable uh you can use a smaller contact like this one uh, it depends on your need this contact is 16 amps and these one are 60 amps so you see it will really depend on what you want now we're using these breakers you since your the breakers control the coil so it's not really since the breakers control the coil you can still have uh, a 10 amp a 5 amp a 20 amp depending on the rating of the coil of your contactor okay so we have these lights here that we are gonna use so let's jump into it now we are just going to connect each circuit independently but interlocking each other okay now this wire here we will pass it through it's now this breaker will be supplying our main contactor but we have it has to go through the auxiliary of the generator contactor first and now this goes to the coil and we will have to supply one of the contact for our light same thing with the generator uh, control breaker so it also goes through here it also goes through the normally closed of the main contactor this will now go to the coil this one to supply our light that we want to connect okay uh, so, so now right here we have to connect these lights so now you have for you've been following through and uh, this is what we've done so uh, this is a breaker for a main contactor and this is a breaker for the backup contactor okay and we've used the auxiliary contact that means that uh, for a this is a main breaker and this is a main contactor but for a main contactor to get energized it has to go through the backup contactor then to the coil now same thing with the generator contactor or the backup contactor to energize the coil it has to go through the main contactor okay such that uh, if one contactor is closed this is open so we'll, we won't get any problem okay 
So let's give it a test and you see what happens. So now we can look at our lights here and we see what happens. Now first I will engage the main contactor first. So the main contactor is in and it's running. You are able to see the light here. Okay. But if you, 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 your back your backup power if your backup power is available and you tempt to have it in like this so it won't come in and you see in our previous video when we were talking about interlock i'll link the video in the card when we were talking about interlock uh, we realized that you, when we engage both contactor you see that one contactor is energized and the other one is struggling the coil struggles <laughs> You see to energize okay and i told you that that can really burn the coil so but because we've now added this uh the electrical interlock so we don't experience that because already the power to the backup contactor has been cut okay so until you remove the main then that's when this will come in because you had already switched it on okay so this is really safe so if for example if your backup was running the way this is now and then maybe someone went and uh, maybe the you know the utility power is back so if it's back you only have a light somewhere that it will show you that it's back okay but it won't be able to engage until you disengage the backup contactor so it's just as easy as that if you have contactors there and then you need, really need to build a manual typical manual changeover but using a contact that's really safe so you are able to have these indicator lights actually it is really uh, very suitable where you where you're running like a, a small plant and uh, you really have to switch off all these other loads when you're starting your generator You've been seeing those instances, okay? You have to switch off all the bigger loads first, then you start your generator, then you, you, you know, you switch back the bigger loads slowly, 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 slowly. Okay, so this can be really suitable if you have that kind of setup, okay? So thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like, and share. Sharing is, do that only to people that you know that they really, uh, in search for this kind of contents and they can really help them so uh, the interlock uh, video I'll link it in the card and also put in the description so thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe bye for now